Hello, everyone. Welcome back. My name is Jackie, who don't know me. Hola, bienvenidos nuevamente. Soy Jackie. Y empezaremos con la presentación, eh, versión 2 de la plática en español. El día de hoy, este, nuestra plática va a ser totalmente diferente. Today, our talk will be a little bit different. Eh, vamos a no a pronunciar las palabras en inglés. We are not talking every, any um, translation in English. We will just focus in Spanish. Gracias nuevamente. Thank you so much. Our subject. Eh, va a ser un poquito largo. Eh, will be abecedario. Palabras con C, L, C, R, B, L, B, R, D, R, F, L, F, R, G, R, G, L, T, R, T, L, palabras con H. Palabras con G, J, palabras con K, Q, C, palabras con Y, y doble L. Palabras con R y doble R. Diptongos, artículos, el, la. Adjetivos calificativos, me gusta y no me gusta. Y Moravon, México. Ok, everybody, let's start it. Abecedario. How we pronounce? Listen carefully and I will do once. A. B. C. D. E. F. G. H. I. J, K, L, M, N, E, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, O, W, X, Y, Z. We have additionals. This is she, the son of C, H, she, N, H, O, W, L. We continue. A, avión. A, avión. B, barco. B, barco. C, corazón. C, corazón. Che, chile. Che. Chile, de, dado, de, dado, e, elefante, e, elefante, f, foca, f, foca, g, gato, g, gato. H, helado, 
H, helado. I, imán. J, I, imán. J, jirafa. J, jirafa. K, kiwi. K, kiwi. L, lápiz. L, lápiz. Doble L, llave. Doble L, llave. M, mariposa. M, mariposa. N, nube. N, nube. Ñ, ñu. Ñ, ñu. O, oruga. O, oruga. P, pulpo. P, pulpo. Q, queso. Q, queso. R, robot. R, robot. S, sandía. S, sandía. T, tren. T, tren. U, uno. U, uno. B, vaca. B, vaca. Doble U, Winnie. Doble U, Winnie. X, xilófono. X, xilófono. Y, yo, yo. Y, yo, yo. Y Z, zorro. Z, zorro. With this, that is the pronunciation of the alphabet. So now we continue. Palabras con bla, ble, ble, blo, blu. Once again, nuevamente. Palabras con bla, ble, bli, blo, blu. Blanco. Cable. Biblia. Bloque. Blusa. Palabras con bra, bre, bri, bro, bru. Palabras con bra, bre, bri, bro, bru. Brazo. Libreta. Brincar. Broma, bruja, palabras con cla, cle, cli, clo, clu, palabras con cla, cle, cli, clo, clu. Clavo, clemente, clima, clotilde, 
Club. Palabras con. Cra. Cre. Cri. Cro. Cru. Palabras con. Cra. Cre. Cri. Cro. Cru. Crayola. Recreo. Crimen. Micrófono. Crucero. Palabras con fla, fle, fli, flo, plu. Palabras con fla, fle, fli, flo, flu. Flauta. Flecha. Afligido. Flores. Fluido. Palabras con fra, pre, pri, pro, fru. Palabras con fra, fre, fri, pro, fru. Fractura. Fresa. Frío. Frotar. Fruta. Palabras con o sonidos con gra, gre, gri, gro, gru. Sonidos con gra, gre, gri, gro, gru. Gracias. Grecia. Grillo. Negro. Grúa. Palabras con pla, ple, pli, plo, plu. Palabras con pla, ple, pli, plo, plu. Plátano. Pleito. Pliego. Plomero, pluma. Palabras con pra, pre, pri, pro, pru. Palabras con pra, pre, pri, pro, pru. Práctica. Imprenta. Primavera. Profesor. Prueba. Palabras con tra, tre, tri, tro, tru. Palabras con Tra, tre, tri, tro, tru. Trabajo. Tren. Trimestre. Trompeta. Trueno. Palabras con tla, tle, tli, tlo, tlu. Palabras con tla, tle, tli, tlo, tlu. Tlaxcala. Atleta. Atlisco. Triatlón. Pustludio. Pustludio means 
That's the song when you uh, doing in the church or going for any orchestra. The last song that they play in any event, that's they post through you. Palabras con H. Palabras con H. Búho. Hogar. Ahogarse. Hambre. Hueca. Hermoso. Halcón. Helado. Huevo. Hielo. Hora. Hormiga. A few listen the H o H is totally omitted. Is there, but you don't pronounce. I will give an example. We go in the first uh, word. I said, buho. You will not say, buho. It's buho. Palabras con G y J. Palabras con G y J. Girasol. Gente. Imagen. José. Jitomate. Paisaje. Manejar. Julio. Palabras con K, K, U y C. Palabras con K, K, U y C. Kilo. Kiosco. Kilómetro. Queso, quiero, tequila, calabaza, koala, cuerpo, karaoke. Palabras con H y doble L. Palabras con H y Doble L. Lluvia. Llave. Llevar. Gallina. Pollo. Yate. Payaso. Yodo. Ayuda. El sonido de la R y de la doble R. Sonido de la R y de la doble R. Sounds smooth and strong. That's the difference between two of them. And I will give you one more example. Note, we will write with double R or double R only with the sounds strong and between vowels. For example, arra. Orro, irri, urru, r, erro, arre. And we will write with one R where the sound is soft and there is no vowel between them. For example, with double R. Carroza, tierra, perro, burro, carreta, borracho, verruga, guitarra, barranco, párrafo, arrugas. If you notice, this was with exaggerated sounds like, but this how you pronounce to become a good uh, Hispanic speaker.
The second one is sounds strong. It will sound similar as double R. You will notice that. Rodilla. Remo. Raqueta. Rubia. Río. Armónica. Puerta. Partir. Cordón. Trabajar. Pobre. Now we go with one R. This sound is very smooth. Araña. Caricia. Parada. Jurado. Cariño. Barato. Pera. Lapicero. Morena. Pared. Careta. You notice we have three of them, so you can, uh, when you get the presentation, you will see and do all these at, at home. So once again, is all of them in the sounds between double R and R when it's strong at the beginning, or in some parts is between, that you will make that sounds more emphasized with the R. Diptongos. A, U, U, I, U, E, I, E, U, I, U, E, I, I, O, I, A. Diptongos. A, U, U, I, U, E, I, E, I, U, E, I, I, O, I, A. Agua. Automóvil. Guitarra. <coughs> Ruido. Cuerpo. Puerta, cielo, viernes, peine, labio, avión, viuda, ciudad, novia, viaje. Artículos, el, la. Artículos, el, la. El avión. El carro. La motocicleta. La ambulancia. La lancha. El tren. El barco. If you notice, when we put the article el, mostly they finish with o, n, o, o. That what you can say that is the masculine or masculino. And when finish with a, that is the uh, femenino, femenino. So la, we use when finish with same uh, vowel with a. And the... Uh, with this uh, masculine is with O N O O. Adjetivos calificativos. El carro es rojo. La motocicleta es verde. El avión es amarillo. El barco es azul. Adjetivos calificativos 2. El carro rojo. 
el carro es rojo. El carro rojo es grande. El carro rojo es grande y viejo. No. All these are sentences are correct. I know in, in English it will sound funny what you said. Yes, only the, the red card. Or when you listen in Spanish, say, no, that is not correct. When we learn, we learn uh, the same way that I just mentioned to you, yes, now, every single sentence. So if you listen to someone else to speak in this way, it's correct. <clears throat> me gusta, no me gusta. I like, I don't like. Me gusta la comida picante. A mí... No me gusta la comida picante. Me gusta el café. A mí no me gusta el café. Now we were talking about Mexico. Mexico as a country has beaches all around. Total they are 440 divided into the Gulf, Pacific and Caribbean. Volcanoes, the most important are the Iztaccíhuatl and the Popocatépetl. These pyramids are very famous and also they have a myth uh, oh, it's a story behind that. If you notice, you see the picture, there is the two volcanoes, and down you will see two persons. Those are was the princess, and they fall in love, and there is, that is, there is a story behind it. It's a myth. So that's what they call is the Sibotul and the Popocatépetl. That's the name of these uh, two persons. They are there. Uh, the pyramids. We have the moon and the sun. Those two are very famous in Mexico. Those are located in Mexico City. Also, we have in Chichen Itza, is between Cancun and Mérida. Palenque in Chiapas. La Venta, Villahermosa. Monte Albán in Oaxaca. El Tajín in Veracruz. Quetzalcoatl in Tula, Querétaro. Those are the most important. Uh, Pyramids in Mexico. In Mazatlan, we have the second highest natural lighthouse in the world and the first place in America, which is 159 meters high. We also have a tourist, virgins, and new beaches. The sea walk of Malecon is about 21 kilometers long. That's why it is considered as the second longest sea walk in the world. Along with the walk, you will see monuments, old buildings, high cliffs, hotels, bars, and restaurants. That is all around you. Walk you as, as you can see in the presentation. You see all these beautiful uh, monuments all around. So your walk will be no bored at all. Also, we have a famous taxi we call Pulmonia, and it's kind of tuk tuk. And they have also their own. Uh, Monument. And as I mentioned, it's a coming and going. Uh, you will never go more because you will see different view. Even you are going or, uh, to your hotel or whatever uh, point you are uh, about to reach, or when you're coming back, you will see different uh, scenario. Also, we have the El Clavadista or Cliff Divers. This is the most attractive show. The Cathedral Basilica 
is the most beautiful church that we have in Mazatlan. Also, Mazatlan has an international carnival, which is celebrate everybody. So it looks like uh, we are in Brazil, but no, this is Mexico. <laughs> it's colorful and it's packed. Uh, exception that this year, you know, it's still the pandemic, so there was some restrictions. So it was up to you if you want to go and, and see the parade or no. And um, Maslin also has an international port, has a ferries, and also is a cargo and tourist port. The latest baseball stadium takes place for the Caribbean series. So thank you so much for attending this talk. I hope you enjoy and muchas gracias. Uh, hi, uh, thank you for the uh, presentation. I mean, showing us the presentation. Yeah, uh, the chat box is now open. If you all want, you can uh, directly uh, question uh, Jacqueline, whatever doubts you all had during the whole presentation. Uh, maybe you all were attentively uh, looking at the presentation. That is why there are no questions right now. But I'm sure they might have some doubts. Uh, based on the pronunciation, especially because today's webinar was mostly focused on the way you pronounce different uh, alphabets of uh, the Spanish language. Yes. So if you all have any doubts, you all can uh, uh, just type it in the chat box. Or if you want, you can unmute yourselves and uh, directly ask Jacqueline. Yes, yes, exactly. Please, please. So we can just keep carry on with the presentation. Yeah, Emilia, ma'am, says uh, it was good. Thank you. Mihir, Niola, if you all have any questions or any doubts, you all can go ahead. You all can unmute yourself if you all want, or you all can even type it in the chat box. Uh, meaning of palabras means words. Words with all sounds with in we say the, the words, but palabra means word. Okay, there's a question by Mihir. Sometimes you add a single A in capital before a sentence, like a mi me gusta. What is that instead of me gusta? uh that's how we uh make the sentence like when you're talking so it has to be there before the you said it's like a um, article we call it article uh and we use uh specifically when you said if you like something or you don't like a mí me gusta or a mí no me gusta for example uh sabio te gusta El café. I'm asking you if you like the coffee. So your answer would be, no, a mí no me gusta el café. O no me gusta el café. Is correct both sides, but mostly we say a mí. Like means like you are talking about yourself. I don't know if that uh, answer her, uh, her or he question. Uh, Mehir. Yeah, he says he oh. got it. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, ah, Mehir. <laughs> yeah, Mehir is quite active. <laughs> yes, yes, quite active in the group, yes. Okay, if you want to interact, you can uh, just raise your hands and uh, maybe uh, you can even Thank unmute you so much, Mihir. Talk. 
I guess there are no more questions. No more questions. Any more doubts about the presentation? Any sound or anything? Or be free if you know some uh, uh, Spanish word, please don't be shy. As last time, I request the people who ever want to say something, please carry on. That is, everybody can listen also different accents. And we can correct each other. It is nothing to be shy or shame. We are learning something new. Yeah, the talk will be uploaded soon um, by mostly tomorrow afternoon, as well as uh, the presentation will be shared with you all on the group. Um, I'll share the PDF uh, as soon as the talk is over. Meanwhile, uh, we had some videos to be uh, presented to you all. Uh, Jacqueline, can I go ahead and present those videos? Yes, please. Um, there is sitting one. Yes, please. Which one do you want me to present first? Uh, the, uh, what do you call this? The fireworks. This is very, I think that nobody, this is really amazing. I, I, I really love that one. Okay, fine. Just one second.
as you just saw in the video, uh, I was I mentioned to you before that we have uh, international carnival. So how we start is with the combate naval. Uh, means like a naval war. Uh, it has a, a historical um, uh, place in Mazatlan, it's a port, right? So the French um, people came, or they want to colonize, so the people from the port, there was the attack. So that's what they, I like um, remembrance, they show you. But actually, um, they has another meaning, where they say, quema de mal humor, or uh, bad uh, humor uh, born, like, this sounds funny, right? So that's how this all pyrotechnic show, and this happens around 11 o'clock evening, and it takes around half an hour, but I used to end the video is full, full fireworks all around the coastal area, um, the Malecon that I mentioned, the seawall. All around, they do all these uh, small boats, uh, fishing boats, uh, uh, different type, and do all these, uh, a pyrotechnic show is really amazing, amazing. Now I just see here I have my chicken book, you know, it's, it's really amazing and I really love it. So how we start, that is the opening of the carnival. Hola, ¿qué tal? Saludos a todos. Yo soy Carlos Bernal. Bienvenidos a un programa más de Espacio Alternativo. Estoy en la Avenida del Mar de la ciudad de Mazatlán, Sinaloa. Y estamos bien emocionados porque venimos a ver la quema del mal humor. Parte de la sorpresa de este año, que la verdad me tiene así como que bien alucinado, es que por cuestión del COVID y de la necesidad de que, de que esto fuera en un lugar... ...un más grande, anteriormente este evento se hacía más para allá en un lugar que se llama Olas Altas, que a pesar de que es una bahía muy grande, pues esta es una bahía gigantesca comparada con aquella. Esta se llama Avenida del Mar, es como tres o cuatro veces más grande que el lugar aquel donde le digo que se llevaba a cabo este combate naval. Y este es un rollo espectacular de, de pirotecnia que está a punto de empezar a las 11 de la noche. have some technical issues. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, as he's mentioned, so it's all around the sea. Well, I just explained to you before that to watch this uh, video. And when it got frozen, what it said, it starts 11 o'clock. So this time, because of the pandemic, what he said in Spanish, is in all around the sea, what they will do. So they take a bigger area because of the crowd. As you saw in the pictures and that I did in the presentations, you see, it's totally packed. Um, this year, I said, it's totally different. Uh, the, uh, for the pandemic, you know, like keep distance and all these things and too many kids. It's, it's really amazing. Everybody, when you say combating the valley is that time, everybody wants to run and, and, and see it. It's, even you will see even if you live like a half an hour far, you will see those uh, fireworks. It's really, really amazing, unbelievable. That's, that's the best part of, of the start in the carnival. <laughs> so we continue with the questions and answers. Or oh, anybody wants to speak something in Spanish once again, feel free. Don't be shy, please. Jackie. Hi. Hi. Hey, uh, so, yeah, I just wanted to ask you about the, the three different ways you pronounce the R's. Three different ways you pronounce. So, I, we saw some examples, but you could see more examples. Maybe. Like, uh, yeah, but like with R, we have, I, 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 you saw the presentation, we have uh, a three type of uh, R's. It was uh, the soft one, uh, as like Carrosa Tierra uh, is with double R. So uh, be like more specific if, if, if you can like what type of, uh, um, what type of. Uh, yeah, maybe like a, share like a PDF or an image with more examples. So you, you showed like eight examples of 
six or eight on the screen. So maybe if you can put together more examples and just share a PDF hey. or just an image, because it's different with every with different with every uh, every time you use the R's. Yeah, uh, the one that I did in the presentation was with double air, with one R, one was with a strong sound and with a soft sound. So it was three three type of them. Uh, maybe and uh, we, I can forward to you um, that uh, slide so you can just have a look because it was quite a, bit, a lot. Yeah, no problem. That would be great. I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there. Mihir, I don't know you still there, sweetheart. Uh, we have this uh, that I was mentioned to you with the double R sounds uh, soft and sounds uh, strong. So, uh, you want me to say it again, all of them? Yes, this is great. This will be included in the PDF that Stavios shares, right? So the one that you can see that presentation, that one, do you want me to uh, say it all again, slow, more slowly? No, no, the translation is not, like I understood what- uh, the, Oh, okay, the, tra the translation, yeah, yeah. That, because no, no, it was no, not even the not even the translation. I just wanted to know if there are more examples, like see there are 10 examples over here, right? So my, my only concern is seeing that word uh, partir, um, mm -hmm. partir, you know, and then the R is in the middle. And yes. Even on the on the soft one, Morena, the R is also in the middle, but one is pronounced hard, and the other one is pronounced soft. So I just wanted to see like more examples so I can figure out where to use the R harder versus softer. <laughs> so like more examples. That's all I wanted. Yeah. The first one yeah, is bigger for the two R's. When, yeah, uh, you will pronounce um, with one R, where the sound is soft, and there is not a vowel between. Oh, okay. Right? And yes. when we will use double R, when you have a but uh, vowels between them for example uh tierra you have e and you have a between them uh, okay yes so I that's see that. that's, that's that yeah that, yeah that that makes sense thank you you're welcome someone else Well, uh, Joel has a question. He's asking, is C compulsory in Spanish or is K also allowed? Example, his surname is uh, K A double R A. Would I have to write it as C A double R A or is usage of K is allowed? Uh, no, when it comes with the orthography, you know, it is same like in English. So you have to write down how is it for your own uh, pronunciation. Yeah, you can put, for example, some words that I I, I cannot get uh, in an, another language. So I, I put like in my Spanish sound, how will be? You can do that, but you have to be careful because sometimes uh, when we're just trying to learn something and then we try to write, we write in, in, in the ground spelling. But yes, just for your own uh, method to, to study, you know, how, how you will uh, do that, yes. But no for the, when they're talking about the orthography and all these things, no. You, you have to follow whatever it is. That is the rule. Okay, I hope uh, that has answered the question. Uh, any more questions by anyone?
uh, i'll be sharing the pdf file of the presentation as well as the video links you all can now uh, go through it Laila is asking, do you know any good book or a website article to read Spanish? Oh, it's a good question. Uh, no, I cannot uh, think about it. Uh, good book. Uh, I love uh, fantasy books. So <laughs> that's what I uh, mostly read um, in Spanish. But any Spanish book is good. But in, let me just uh, find out how my mind working on it and I will send her a direct a link or, or, or any name of the book that she can get. Okay, probably you can even share it on the group. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, fine then, I feel there are no more uh, many questions coming. So uh, should we wind so up? Someone asked uh, about N. Uh, I don't know. Uh... Yeah, yeah, just one yeah. second. Yeah. 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 Uh, can you just repeat what was your question, if you don't mind, please? Uh, I want the pronunciation of the alphabet N. There was a double N with that uh, sign on top. Huh. That, uh, the, uh, that is N, the, is like an N, but it has like a small, like a wave on top. That is N. So that's N, -E. N, -E, exactly. Okay. This is, 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 sounds a little bit funny because we have the three together. One is M, N, 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 and it sounds this one's quite a bit similar. Once again, M, N, N. Thank you. You're welcome. Someone else? Someone wants to say something in Spanish? Don't be shy. Me here. I I I push you me here. <laughs> Laila. No, I'm very shy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll go through the video hopefully when it's uploaded, and then I'll try to pronounce something in Spanish. <laughs> Uh, muy bien presentación. Uh, muchas gracias. <laughs> muy bien, Mihir. Uh, cool then. I think uh, there are no more. Yeah, there is one more question by Joel. Can we learn words related to family members in Spanish in the next class? Uh, I... The bad news <laughs> is this is the last presentation. There is no uh, no more presentation. Uh, this uh, was the last. So I don't know. Maybe we, I can share that in the in the um, uh, WhatsApp. Yeah, I feel. Fine, no problem. They'll be waiting eagerly for your messages now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, Jacqueline, really, I mean, it was a wonderful class. I too enjoyed the, though I was uh, whole time presenting, I still was very attentive and concentrating on whatever you were explaining. Uh, it was a really, uh, I mean, very nice class. We enjoyed it. I'm so uh, like I'm uh, expecting everyone else also will enjoy it. We'll see the video in future. 
okay so uh, i'll do the editing as soon as possible and uh, thank you all for attending this uh, webinar and uh, i'll get back to you all soon on the group with the video as well as the pdf and the video links thank you no no thank you thank you savio for you uh, support uh, technical support and in they're helping me assisting for everything um uh, once again, thank you for the CLC uh, for uh, inviting me once again to do this uh, second part of the presentation. I hope so you, all you guys enjoy the presentation and you understand a little bit about the, how we pronounce. Uh, in Spanish, uh, we, as we write, we read. We, you know, it's not like in English, you know, like they have so much uh, sounds in this. We, we have our own uh, pronunciations and some vowels that, that I, I try to uh, make as short as I, I could and, and, you know, give you little, 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 little for everything. So you can understand a little bit more the language, how we pronounce. And maybe for the beginning, you will say, ah, this is, maybe she's exaggerated. But how we learn, you know, like we see it, in front of the teacher, the teacher is looking at us and they say, you know, doing all these uh, sounds. Uh, my suggestion is like, if you have a mirror, you just listen and look at your face and check how's the pronunciation. And with that, it will help you a little bit more. See, uh, that's the only advice that I can give to everybody if, in any language, in any language, so it can help. And, Try to adjust the uh, listen things, uh, music, uh, movies, whatever, whatever series, whatever it is uh, uh, you can do to improve the, the any language, any language. So that's how I, I learned uh, different languages. So besides the websites, apps, so you know, too many things now we can um, grab and see. No, it's not like before you used to go to the library, you know, and read out so many books. Now we have everything there in, on the website, right? So that's the only uh, advice that I give to all of you. And practice, practice, practice. That's the only thing. And once again, uh, thank you for all of you. And Savio, thank you. Yeah. And uh, I hope we all will be in touch on the group and uh, as much as the group gets active i feel uh, it will help each and every individual on the group to improve on his uh, language thank you and see you all soon good night good night thank you bye guys <laughs>